Hello. Today we're going to be making this animated cell phone. I'll walk you through the process step by step. You can use this technique to put whatever you want onto the phone screen. In this part, I'll just show you how to add a simple video. But if you watch the optional part too, I will show you how to make a scrolling feed like that on Instagram or Facebook. If you follow the link in the description, you'll find the project files for free on my website. You don't need them to follow along, but it will make things a bit easier. Okay, let's get started. Okay, I've got an empty Blender file here. I'm going to click A twice to select everything, X, and click Delete. So I'm going to hold Shift and A, and we're going to bring a cube back in. And the way I'm going to model this is I'm going to slice this up and use a mirror modifier so we only have to worry about modeling one section of it. So I'm going to tab into edit mode and I'm going to hit control R, hit click right there and click again. Control R, this time we're going to bring it over here, click once and then click again. And then we're going to do control R, click and add another one right there. Okay, I'm going to hit 7 to go my top view, and 5 to go from perspective view to orthographic. I'm going to hit Z to go in the wireframe, A to de deselect those vertices, and hit B, and click and drag, select these vertices, hit X, and I'm going to click on vertices to delete those. I'm going to hit B again, select these vertices, hit X, click on vertices, hit 1 to go in the front view, B, I'm going to select these vertices, hit X, and click on vertices. I'm going to tab out of edit mode, and now I've just got this little cube, and hit Z just so you can see what I'm doing a little bit better. And if you go over to the right into modifiers, we're just going to go and add a mirror modifier. So now it's mirrored over the X, and I'm going to click on clipping here. And now I'm going to add another mirror to modifier. This time I'm going to put Y. Now you can see it's mirrored over the Y. I'll click on clipping. And I'm going to add the last modifier. This time it's going to be the Z. And I'm going to click on clipping. Okay, I'm just going to save real quick. All right, so now when we hit tab to go into edit mode, we're really just working with this one piece here. So I'm going to hit Z to go into wireframe one to go in my front view and I'm just going to hit B select these top vertices and bring them up and you can see that's being mirrored on all in all the directions here so I'm going to bring it up to about here um, that looks pretty good to me I'm going to hit 7 to go in my top view hit A to deselect B select these vertices I'm just going to click and drag right here make this pretty thin phones are pretty thin these days and I'm going to hit Z to go out of that, and Tab to go out of edit mode. And I think that looks pretty good for the shape of a cell phone. So I'm going to save again. Okay, so I'm going to hit Tab to go back into edit mode. And I'm going to right click on this vertice here. Shift right click on this one. And I'm now going to hit 1 to go into my, uh, 1 on the number pad to go into my front view. And I'm going to hold Control and hit B. That's going to bevel this edge, so if you start dragging, you'll see the edge is being beveled. So I'm going to go to about here, and then if you scroll on your scroll wheel, you'll increase um, how many segments that's beveled into, so it's going to get smoother. So I'm just going to go ahead and just keep scrolling, um, trying to see if you can see how many that is to get the same amount as me. Oh, at the bottom of the screen, uh, it says segments, so I'm just going to go up maybe do 15 and then left click. So if I scroll around, you can see now that this edge has this nice bevel on it. I also want to bevel this front edge, so I'm going to hit A to deselect, and I'm going to hold Control and hit Tab, and I'm now going to click on this edge selection. I'm going to hold Shift and Alt, and then right click right here. That's going to select this whole edge here and I'm going to hold control and hit B to bevel again so this time we're kind of beveling the front this edge towards the front of the phone so I'm going to bring it down maybe about here and then just increase this again let's see 
bring this up. And again, you can see the segments at the bottom. Maybe I'll just go up to 15 again and uh, left click to lock that in. So I'm going to hit tab to go out of edit mode and go ahead and save. All right, so now let's see, we've got our edges beveled. Let's go ahead and apply our mirror modifiers. So starting from the top one, just click apply, apply, apply. Now I'm gonna tab into edit mode again, A to deselect all that, hold control, hit tab, and we're gonna switch to face selection. So now I'm gonna select, I'm gonna right click on that one, shift right click on these other two faces, and I'm gonna uh, turn it so I can kind of see, I wanna be able to see into here. Um, with all four of those select them and hit E for extrude. And if you move it, so I just wanna give it a little bit of a lip there um, just a little bit, not too much, but something like that probably. A tab out of edit mode, and you can see we now have that lip. Okay, so I kind of want to get a better idea of how this is looking. Um, you know, that's basically, you know, basically it for the shape of the phone. So let's go switch from Blender render to Cycles render, and let's go over to our materials here and hit new. I'm going to go from diffuse to principled and I'm just going to click on this white and drag this down pretty near to black maybe not perfect black but pretty low there and so we really start seeing how it looks I'm also going to add in an HDRI so in the world tab here I'm going to click on use nodes to the right of color here I'm going to click on environment texture click open and if you navigate to where you have uh, the file, uh, your HDRI, I'm going to click on this 3K version. And now I'm gonna hit Shift Z. And if you hit five to go back into perspective mode, you'll see how it's looking. So I think it's looking pretty good. Flip around to the back and get closer, see how it looks. Okay, I think that looks pretty good. I'm gonna hit Shift Z and hit one. And I'm gonna tab into edit mode. So I've got these faces selected and I'm gonna go ahead and add another material just for this part of it. So I'm gonna hit new material here, add new, go to principled again and click assign so these all have to be selected still and then you click assign we hit tab to go to edit mode hit shift z and we're seeing how this looks all right so that looks pretty good um depending on you know what you think you might want to make the phone a little bit narrow or a little, um you know play with the shape a little bit so if i hit shift z maybe i want to hit s and x and just bring it in a little bit maybe it was a little too fat for um, hit shift Z and I think that's looking pretty good Let's go ahead and save this all right and since we uh, scaled the phone I'm gonna hold control and hit a and I'm going to apply the scale so click on scale right there and now let's add so if you see right now I'm gonna hit shift Z uh, we just have white right here so we want to add in a video or an image sequence so I'm gonna hit shift Z and I'm going to go to the top right, drag over here. I'm going to hit T to collapse that panel. And I'm going to go down and go from our 3D view to the node editor. And if you're like me and it wasn't on the materials here, just click this little circle and um, you'll see your material here. So this is the white one that we have on the screen. So I'm going to hit Shift A, type in search or click search, type in image texture and oh, I lost mine there and I'm just going to drop it right there connect the color to the base color and I'm going to click on open and you can use any uh, image sequence or video you want uh, I provide a video in on my website so if you want to use the same one I am using it's this basketball video right here and if you do an image sequence it's just going to be ready to go if you do a video like this you're going to have to put the number of frames um, to use from the movie. So in this case, I'm going to change this to 250. 
So now if I hit Shift Z over here, actually we see the color change, but we haven't unwrapped this yet. So I'm gonna hit Shift Z and in the right panel, now I'm gonna go into our UV image editor. If you click this little icon here, we can bring up this, um, the video here. I'm zooming out, scrolling to zoom out. And with my mouse back on the left side, I'm gonna hit tab to go into edit mode, U, and then click on unwrap. So that's going to unwrap those faces right here. And I want this to be more centered, so I'm gonna hit G and hit X and just drag this over. And actually, so you know, ideally if you were you know, making an animation for this phone, you would custom make a video to perfectly fit this unwrapped shape here. Um, but to keep this one simple, I'm just gonna use you know, any old video so you can see how it works. And then if you wanna watch the optional part two, I'll go in more in, uh, in depth about actually making a video that fits the screen and looks like someone you know, scrolling through Instagram or Facebook. Um, and actually, the frame I want to reference for the final image is going to be um, the last frame. So I'm going to jump down here, jump to the last frame, 250. And with my mouse on the left side, I'm going to hit Shift Z. And actually, that looks centered up pretty nicely there. So, all right, I'm going to hit Shift Z. And just so you know, if you're in this rendered mode and you flip through your timeline, you won't see any changes to the video. But if you, so say you jump over here, hit Shift Z, if you go out and back in with Shift Z, you will see where you're at right there. Okay, so now we successfully have our video onto our screen. I'm gonna tab out of edit mode, and I'm going to close that window. So now we wanna have a little backdrop to go behind it, so we're not seeing our background, our environment image here. So I'm gonna hit Shift A, add in the plane, I'm just going to pull this plane back pretty far. R for rotate, X on the X axis, and then 90. Hit enter, hit S, and just really scale this scale this up a lot. Um, maybe I went a little too crazy there. All right. And in the right panel, I'm going to click New. And we're going to make this em uh, an emission. So I'm going to change from diffuse to emission. And I've hit Shift Z, zoom back in. You see we've got this just you know default background here and that'll work pretty well for us. So you can have this white, um, you can have this black, you know, lots of commercials it's in to do the black. I'm gonna go maybe a little bit, let it be a little bit of gray. I kinda wanna have some contrast where the phone's significantly darker than the background and I'm pretty happy with that. So I'm gonna hit Shift Z and go ahead and save this. Okay, so the last things we need to do are uh, add a camera in and then animate the phone. So I'm gonna zoom out here and hit Shift A and click on camera. Pull this back, I'm gonna hit N to get my right panel up and I'm just actually gonna, let's see, change the rotation from 70 to 90, I believe. Make this zero and zero. So it's just gonna be straight on at the phone. I'm going to hit S to scale it up and just to have a better idea where it's pointing. Hit zero and it's going to jump us into our camera view. And now with the location over here, I'm just going to drag it so we're closer to the phone. So I'm going to hit Shift Z and just see where we're at here. Okay, so that's looking pretty good. So now we just need to animate the phone. So I'm going to jump click right there to jump to the first frame. And I'm going to right click on the phone and we just want to get it into our starting position. So I'm going to, oops, I'm gonna hit Control Z on that. We just want to play with the uh, rotation and we're not gonna change the location at all. So I'm going to, let's have the phone start maybe, let's see. Let's have it start tilted this way. This really is all up to you. Um, just play with it and see what you think. So. You know, change those values a bit, and I'm gonna hit I, and that will uh, put a keyframe right there. And I'm gonna click there to jump to the last frame, right there. And I'm just gonna bring this and go the opposite way on these values. So I'm gonna tilt it back the other way, maybe tilt it up this way, and bring the phone over to here. And click I to lock in that keyframe. 
So let's just see how this looks. So I'm clicking here to jump back to the first frame. I'm just going to hit play. And in the top left, you'll see how many frames per second you're going at. So mine is playing back at the full 24 frames that we're doing for this. And usually for these phone animations, you want it to be a little slower. You don't want it to be too dramatically fast unless maybe you're doing a, a full spin of the phone. But again, this is really just to show you how you can do this. So any you could have it spin around twice if you want, anything you want. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and do it like this. All right, so I think that movement's pretty nice. I like it slow and kind of a little dramatic. Um, but let's see how the frames are looking. So because we can see how the reflections will look. So I'm going to go in the beginning, hit Shift-Z. And again, like I said, this video wasn't made to specifically fit this phone. Fit this phone. So it's a little more cut off than I typically would have it. Um, but as the video plays, it gets revealed, so it still kind of works. So hit Shift-Z. Jump ahead a bit, hit Shift Z. Jump ahead a bit, hit Shift Z. Jump ahead a bit. All right, I think that actually is looking pretty nice. Um, and like I said, the background, I'm just gonna right click on the background here. If you wanna go all black with this, maybe you like that better. If you wanna go all white, you know, either way, um, it's up to you. Actually, maybe I wanna play with this all white. I'm just gonna leave it here. And I'm gonna hit Shift Z, save it. And now we're ready to render it out. So just go over to the scene tab and change this up to 100%. You wanna uh, say where it's gonna go. So I'm gonna click here. Let's see. Oh, not in the right folder. All right, I'm back where I wanna be. So I'm just gonna say rendered frames go into it say phone animation whatever you want hit enter twice png sign so you're going to render it out as an image sequence and that's just so that you know each frame is going to take a while so if it messes up during the process you didn't lose everything like you would when you're rendering out as a video so you're doing it frame by frame image by image so the other thing to look for is the sampling. And we've got 128. And honestly, in this project, that's probably going to work pretty well. Um, I'm just going to double click check here. If you go to the render layers here, just check denoising. Uh, it just lets you get better results with lower samples. So I'm going to go back here. I'm going to hit F12. And we're just going to see, I'm going to zoom back out, see how this is looking. Um, and you know, if you want, if you see lots of little dots and little fireflies, that means you want to turn your sampling up. All right, so this is that rendered frame. I'm gonna zoom in, and I'm happy with the quality here. Um, so yeah, so really, it's just whatever your machine can handle. You know, the higher the samples here, uh, the better the quality, but the longer it's gonna take. And also, if you've never looked into it before, there's a difference between CPU rendering and GPU rendering. GPU can be a lot faster, so you know, look up YouTube and um, or on YouTube, and you can see how you can change this. So I'm gonna switch mine over because I have it set up, and if you've got where it's going, you've got everything set up right. Just go ahead and click animation, and it's just gonna render it out, and you're done. All right, you're all finished. Please like and subscribe my channel if you like the content. Also, remember there's the optional part two where I show you how to make a scrolling feed like Instagram or Facebook. Thanks for watching. Bye.